What's going on team? Welcome to the vlog. Uh, I know it's a bit different setting. Craig's not in front of the camera, neither is Jazz. They're in the UK, we're here in, uh, in beautiful Spain. Uh, yeah, a couple of weeks ago, they said I was gonna move away from my house in Brussels and I suddenly arrived here in Palma de Mallorca. And yeah, we're gonna be here for the next couple of months. We've got Athi 001, Jack and Dahlstrom who lives here. We got Athi 005, Christoph Horvath who lives here. Got six fittest on earth, Gabriela Megala who lives here, and just an amazing crew of people. So the weather's nice, the athletes are cool, the gym is super cool. So I figured why not just move to Mallorca and uh, document the journey of all these athletes for the next couple of months leading up to the games and, and see what happens afterwards. So yeah, we're here. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, today's Friday, so Friday they do one-to-one -one sessions with John, their coach. And I know it's a kind of dreaded session by everyone. And yeah, today we're going to take you through a full day of training of Jack and Dahlstrom, Athlete 001. You guys will get to see a sneak peek of what everyone else does, get to know the crew a little bit. And yeah, it's the start of the, the series, no? Craig and Jazz, you're, you're obviously watching this because you're editing this, or you're uploading this at least. Um, so I can't wait for you guys to come. I miss you guys a lot. And uh, let's get the vlog started. Good morning. Hi, this morning. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm good. It's a bit late this morning. Are you excited for your one-to-one -one session with John? Super excited. <laughs> Do you know what I sent him? No. I sent him two days ago, hey, so we're filming a day in the life of Jack and so send it. He told me to bring the weight vest. So I got the weight vest. And that's, uh, that's, that's all I know. I'm always a bit anxious about these sessions, so I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Does it generally get very spicy? It depends. It doesn't necessarily have to be, be spicy in the sense that I die, but it's always the stuff that I, you know, that I'm the worst at. So they, these sessions are mentally very hard because it will be like, you know, basically something I suck at, followed by something more that I suck at, finishing with even more things that I suck at. So like these are more mentally very tough, but I know that they're, they're very good for me and it's exactly what I need, but I just have to be like, you know, in the morning, I just have to be like, okay, you're not a bad, bad CrossFit athlete just because you're going to do stuff today that, you know, it's going to make you maybe feel not very good, but that doesn't mean that you're not good. <laughs> so I have to be a bit sad today. How's it going, buddy? All the better for seeing you, Josie. Oh, I appreciate that. Fridays, we go one-to-one. -one. Some of the athletes fear these sessions. I personally don't know why, but, um, but like, yeah, Friday's like our day of uh, where we get the individual attention. So each athlete's kind of uh, has unique things they need to work on. So Jack and we've got some shoulder to overhead work, uh, like power jerks, split jerks. And we're actually gonna be doing some weighted, uh, like with weight vests, like weight vest intervals and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I think it's a, you know, just for her, she's, one of the smaller athletes, so just being comfortable with the external load is important. How's it going? 5k done, it's on the rower. Now we can start the fun stuff, weightlifting. What's your favorite? You, you like a heavy barbell, don't you? Yeah, it's always fun to hit, it's always fun to hit a nice heavy complex. Fridays actually normally I would do my conditioning at home because I do like the first I do like a first session which is just conditioning it's not like a full session and then John and then I have like the second session like or the third session as he would describe it like in the afternoon alone so normally I would do like biking tours at home but you came just for the vlog I came because you were gonna film but yeah we I have a yeah I have a bike at home or a rower as well so I can do like basic conditioning at home uh, and it's quite nice because like I'll be sitting by the pool and it's a very nice view and stuff so. and it's quite, it's quite nice as well just once a week to you know so I do the conditioning but then I go home again afterwards eat my second breakfast and have like a bit of like a chill, mm. chill morning uh, before like I said mentally preparing for the session with John <laughs> and, uh, time will tell what have you been up to since we saw you in Dubai last time um had Christmas off, like most of there, I think, and then back to training. So we were back here again on like the 2nd of January. So I have had one like full training block of like five weeks deload. And now we're into the second second week of the second block of training this year. Okay. So, it's, you know, starting to feel good again. The first block after like the Christmas is like, yeah, it's felt quite beaten up, but, uh, 
feeling good. Getting, getting there. Getting ready, yes. Do you always pull out the battle brace on uh, Fridays? Or is it just for the vlog? When I need extra power. Oh. <laughs> Jordi, do you want to show the vlog what's on your shoe? Yep. That's your time, baby. First lesson done. Yeah. What, what did you do right, on the bike there? Very simple. 10 sets of 1K, one, one, uh, one minute rest. So now it'll probably be like half an hour break and then start with John. You, uh, what happened with the music there? You know when you're halfway through the interval and then just like a really song comes on and yeah, that's what happened. I had to like focus on, you know, not listening to the song and like on the, instead of like the, the music being uplifting and helping me through, it was like the opposite, like ignore the music, ignore the music. What was the song? I don't even remember. I put on some like house, house music 2022 or something like that. And like the the first songs were really good and like got me going. Then all of a sudden it's like athlete 005. How was your one for one session with uh, John? It's not my favorite sessions of the week. It gives me a lot of anxiety a day before, but I was fine. Now it wasn't as much uh, as much cardio. <laughs> Did, uh, did you feel your breakfast come up a little bit? No, no, no. I changed my breakfast now for the last month. So it's I used to I used to eat like uh, pan fried potatoes with my eggs, and then now I changed to granola, which I don't really like. But. First, we're going to do 20 calorie ski, five wall walks. But the wall walks are going to be with the obstacle and the weight vest. You hear the sounds coming. Then you go five D ball cleans, five D ball lunges. So basically, you, you can just take it to the shoulder, shoulder, five steps, dump, turn around, same thing. Then 20 calorie ski, 20 chest to bar. I have is the, 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 the it's just DB, but it's D ball, not dumbbell. So I have is the deep one. <laughs> you know, I said that it doesn't necessarily have to be like dying heavy. Today is going to be dying heavy as well. Have you ever done the wall walk with the obstacle? Yes, but I've not done it with the obstacle and the weight vest. And he's going to want me to try to skipping steps as well. It's not going to happen. I'm You didn't look very happy in the wall walks with the weight vest. To be fair though, they were almost just as hard without the weight vest. How do you find overall? Good? It's just like, you know, normally I can keep a very nice flow through the workout and the movement and I don't necessarily have to rest in between. It's probably just me being hard on myself as well, but like when I have to rest between reps that really annoys me when I can't just like, you know, pick it up. Died on the obstacle or wall walk thing. But it was, I got through it. Two hours later. Did you have a good nap? It's not long enough. Did you uh, recover well from that uh, that session? Does it look like that? Is it like this every Friday? Yeah. They say you grow when you're challenged, don't they? Yeah, now I'm going to do like 10,000 power, power coasters. Oof. 
packaging, the lifting piece for the, the and that's then, it for the day? Well, I got some like some more kipping pull-ups, like chesty bar, uh, and some street ring muscle-ups, then the lifting, front squats, and then accessory work. And that's it. So I've gotten like you know like confident now doing like step 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 so you have both hands on each step but it's just the level of uh, people are just running over the obstacle now so you're starting to play with you know skipping steps or how you would walk a normal stair uh, you know and I can do it it's just a bit in the head so yeah just playing around with it basically small incremental progress yes and then you gain those extra exactly, seconds exactly. when it comes to uh, and I think just like you know knowing that I can do it it would just build confidence on it like you know it doesn't mean that in competition I would you know necessarily do like that but then just knowing that you can do it and you're comfortable leading with both hands so getting there oh. So you're now going to do a lot of clusters? Now I'm going to try to lift some weights. Yeah, it is a ton of clusters. Hand clusters, and hand cleans, hand power cleans, and cleans. It's just all the... All the cleaning basically. movement you can imagine. Exactly. Every, every possible way of cleaning. Good actually, like uh, uh, it was hard, but uh, I'd say it was a solid, solid day of training. Got a lot of things done. And now we're going to uh, to the countryside. Yes, yes, yeah. I, I do, I do really like. I love where we live. It's um, you know, people are very different. So like, some people will obviously really enjoy living in the city, but for me, just after the training day. And you know, you spend all day with just like blasting music and people and everything around you all day. So just coming home, it's just like, I find it just very peaceful. So as you might have noticed, we are uh, no longer at the gym. We are on a farm in the middle of the mountains. And this is where Jackson lives. And uh, we just walked up, and uh, one of the dogs had uh, the head of the chicken in his mouth. Yep. Another day at the farm. What just happened? I think he's got the chicken's head in his mouth, Tom. <laughs> so, uh, stories that. Tom has um, eaten the cockerel. He's eaten the cockerel's body and he's running around with the cockerel's head in his mouth. 
That's just an interesting. Ooh. Hey! Yeah, you d you should not be be like that, huh? You do not l learn from your big brother. <laughs> So this is Shad's and that's uh, Spotty Hat. Come on. So what are we cooking? Just tacos. It's like go-to lazy food. Oh, sorry. We're cutting up stuff and he eats what I've um, got ready. And so what do you generally do when you're back like home from training? Yeah, so usually I would, uh, we, we do actually, we, so we have a sauna by the pool. So um, we probably s go out and like, so swim twice a week. So then those days I just we use this on at the at the swimming pool, um, and then I aim to do like another two three days. So like today I will, you know, we eat. Then we usually go on sauna, and then um, just relax after that, basically. So tomorrow is what track day? Yeah. Track day, mash day. Yeah. Starting with the track in the morning and then uh, mash in the afternoon. All right, so closing words for uh, for the team. Well, I think it was a solid, solid day of training. Um, well, thank you everyone for watching. And if you did enjoy it, press the like. Smash the like. And smash the like, sorry. And if no one has told you yet today, you're an absolute legend. Uh, she said it, ooh. She said it much better than I could have and uh, as good as Craig and Jazz, so absolute legends. We'll see you in the next one. Back to you, Craig.